writing test cases using the tool for the sign up page a demo application that i have created to explain the fields step by step in this video i will show you how to write test cases for the sign up page inside the jira tool i am using jira software by atlassian you see inside this tool we can create our projects and i have installed zephyr scale which is a test management tool inside jira you see there are some other projects that i have created then simply view all projects and then create a new project next i am going to choose a scrum template for my project next from the project type i will choose a team management project now I am going to name the project as project 3. You may choose any name for the project. You see the initial of the project is P3 and the team management project is already being selected. Click on next and go to the project. Then from the apps, go to the Zephyr scale and enable it. Inside this tool, I am using the Zephyr scale in order to manage my test cases because this tool is specifically for managing test cases and many companies also prefer to use this tool. You may google more about the features because in order to use this tool, we have to sign up for Jira and then install Zephyr scale. This is a prototype template, a demo application that I have created to demonstrate the sign up page fields in order to show you how to write test cases step by step for the fields. As you see, there are a few fields to test like the email field and the password field and you have to fill in the organization as well. Then click on the sign up button. Also. You need to navigate through the sign up page to register with your Gmail account directly through the link below, which says sign up with Gmail account. Also, we need to check the show password and verify navigating through the sign up page to the Facebook page. So when you click on it, you should land up on their social media page to follow on Facebook, right? So let's quickly dive into the tool and create the test cases for the sign up page functionality. Let's assume you as a real time user wanted to sign up for this application and you need to enter all valid data for signing up. So now we are inside the project and we will add a new test case as verify sign up with a valid email. This should be the title of the test case. The title is clear and you know what to do. You simply enter a valid email and other valid data into the fields and sign up, right? Make sure to click on save every time you create a new test case. Next is the objective. The objective of a test case is to describe the purpose of the test and what it is intended to verify or validate. The objective should clearly state the specific functionality or requirement that is being tested and the expected outcome of the test. For example, if you are writing a test case for a sign up page, the objective could be something like verify that a user can successfully create an account by entering valid information into the required fields and submitting the form. This objective clearly states what the test is intended to verify, the ability to create an account and the expected outcome, successful account creation. Next is the precondition. It is difficult to specify a single common precondition that would apply to all test cases for a sign up page. As preconditions can vary depending on the specific functionality being tested. However, one common precondition that could apply to many test cases is ensuring that the sign up page is accessible and all required fields are present. This would ensure that the test cases can be executed as intended. So, as a common precondition for all test cases, I am writing the sign up page is open. Coming down to the status, here the draft means that it's a new test case and we are still creating it so the test case is being saved as a draft 
Depreciated means this test case is being used in the older version. But now in the latest version, this is not needed anymore. Approved means this test case is ready and could be executed and then run. In other words, it means the test case has been reviewed and approved by the appropriate team members. However, the exact meaning of this status may vary depending on the specific use case or workflow of the team using JIRA. Now, if you go back to the test case, you see it shows here that it is being saved as draft. Next, we can try sign up by leaving the email field empty and see the result to check what is the response. So as soon as we enter all the fields with valid data, leaving the email field empty, it should throw some error, right? And this should be the expected result. So we should write the title as verify sign up by leaving the email field empty and then save. As you see, I have not created any folder. So now to create folders, go back to the test cases, then click on create a new folder, then name your folder. For example, sign up page, then home page. Login page and so on. You may simply drag up and drag down the folders. Also, you may keep the test cases related to their specific folders. Simply go to the test case and then choose the folder in order to save the test cases in their related folders. You see, when I click on the other folders, it shows empty. But when I click on the sign up page folder, it shows two test cases saved. And this is how you will create test cases and save them to their related folders. Now, the next title should be like if you go back and check the sign up page again, you will see that there is a password field and we can test by leaving the password field empty and entering valid data to all other fields to test, right? Same as we did by leaving the email field empty in our previous test case. So for this, we should write the test title as verify sign up by leaving the password field empty and then save it and then again going back to the test cases. Next, when you enter the password, it should appear like dots or stars. In other words, it should be hidden or unreadable. The title of a test case should be concise and accurately describe the purpose of the test. The title should make it clear to anyone reading it what the test case is meant to verify. So we write the test case as verify by entering the password and it should appear hidden or unreadable. In other words, it should appear as stars or dots and this should be the expected result. Then save the test case. Next comes the show password option. So when we click on the show password, the expected result should be that the password we created should be visible to us in the form of a text, numbers, signs and symbols. In other words, it should be readable. Like for example, ABC at the rate dollar one two three like that or whatever the password is it should be visible to us so that we can read it and confirm it right so we write it as verify show password Next comes another field which is to register using your Gmail account. If you see here, there is an option showing up that says sign up with Gmail account, which means that if you have an account with Gmail, you may simply register choosing that directly from here. 
so once you choose to sign up using your gmail account directly from here it will take you to the page that displays different gmail accounts that you have which means it will ask you to choose one from those gmail accounts that you have and as soon as you choose an account and sign up you should be able to register and then you should be redirected to the home page of the application so the title we write it as verify sign up using gmail account now what should be the next test case if you see and think more about the sign up page there will be much more testing that could be done for example, suppose someone is already registered with the email that he is trying to sign up with again. Then the expected result should be that it shows an error message saying that this email is already being used. You may simply log in through this email or you may provide another email to register again, right? And this is what is expected. So this test case, we should write it as verify sign up using an already registered email. So we will write this test case as verify sign up using already registered email. Another important test we need to do for the sign up page is what if someone tries to register using the email ID that is not verified which means that the email is not a verified email. The user who created the email must have received a code via text message on his mobile phone that has been sent to him, but he somehow missed verifying that. And hence, the registration process will throw an error saying that the email is not a verified email. So please register using another email or first verify this email and then sign up to register. So the title we write it as verify sign up using a not verified email. These are some other invalid test cases that you can use for the email field for a sign up page. For example, test with some invalid emails like wrong format emails with cases like without at the rate, without dot, without a domain and without alphabets before at the rate. In such cases, the user should be prompted to enter a valid email address and the user shouldn't be signed up. For example, let me show you how to write the test case for a wrong format email. As an example, like julie123 underscore gmail.com. As you see, at the rate is missing. Hence, the format of the email is wrong. And the expected result should be that it throws an error that says, please type in the valid email. Or it must say that the format of the email is wrong. And hence, sign up is not successful so the test title or the test case we should write it as verify sign up using a wrong format email also i have discussed these fields in some of my other videos for the sign up page but the documentation is on google sheet you may simply go through those videos links are in the description below Next comes the password field. Let's also test the password field by entering an invalid password. Example, like too short password, too long password, or say if there are any criteria set for the password. For example, the password should have alphanumeric characters. It should include some sign or symbol. Then it has to be created like that when the user is signing up for the application to use. What if you verify the field by entering a too short password, which has only one character or say two characters maximum and is not good and this should be tested. The expected result should be that the password length is too short and should not be accepted in general. Also, you may test with the easy to guess password, which is considered a weak password and needs to be tested too. So the test title or the test names we should write like this. Verify sign up using a too short password and then save. 
then go back to the test cases and the other test title should be to verify sign up using an easy to guess password. Next comes the organization field. For this field we must enter and try testing with the valid organization name and then sign up. So we write the test case as verify sign up using valid organization name. Next, verify sign up by entering the two long organization name that is more than 100 characters in the organization field. For example, anything like A, B, D, G, F, E, R, S, F, T, etc, etc and see what error it throws. The expected result should be that the sign up is not successful and it should show an error message saying that the organization name is too long. Please enter a valid organization name. The next test case is to verify sign up by entering only numbers that is numeric characters in the organization field and see what happens. The expected result should be that it displays an error that says only numeric values are not accepted. Please enter a valid organization name, right? So the test case you should write it as verify sign up by entering only numeric values into the organization field and then save. So now let's quickly create another test case that is to verify sign up by leaving the organization field empty. So we will write it as verify sign up by leaving the organization field empty. Now next is the test case number 16 that is to navigate through the sign up page to their Facebook page which means connecting to their social media page on Facebook in order to follow for their community updates. For this the expected result should be that the user should be redirected to their social media page in order to follow them. So in that case once you click on this Facebook link from the sign up page you should be able to view their Facebook official page online and that should be the expected result. So let's quickly write the test case as verify navigating from the sign up page to their social media page that is Facebook and then save. Lastly, you must verify the testing sign up page in landscape mode. This test is done because some applications have rotatory functionality, especially mobile apps have rotatory functionality. That's why this test should be done. So the test case we write it as verify testing in landscape mode. Always make sure to check the documentation for the application that you are testing. Make sure to understand the criteria set for the fields for specific applications under test before you start testing it. These are all the test cases for this prototype template that are important to test. But these are not the only test cases I must say. There are no limits to testing and you must try testing the application in every possible way you can depending on time and the type of the project. A total of 17 test cases are there and are important to test in this prototype demo template that I have created to show you the very basic fields of the sign up page. In my next video, I will show how to add steps to each of these test cases. To keep my video short, I am stopping here now. Make sure to get notified of my new uploads by subscribing my channel like share and subscribe press the bell icon to get notified of my new uploads thank you for watching